Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of tutorial video and I'll talk about how to read free newspapers and magazines from your public library. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more tutorial videos, there will be links in the description box below. So I remember when I was uh, going to school uh, in the old days, uh, then I would pick up a copy of uh, New York Times and it was only 40 cents uh, at the time. And even actually uh, before that, it used to be 25 cents. And uh, this was in New York, uh, but things have changed. Now you don't have to be in New York to read New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or many other newspapers and magazines. You can read them from anywhere in the world. And today I'm going to show you how you can read them for free from your public library. I'm in Toronto, so I'm going to use uh, Toronto Public Library uh, to show you how you can do that. However, if you're watching this video from other parts of the world, uh, most likely your own public library has the same you know system or has the same uh, features so, and you can you should be able to use uh, online newspapers and magazines from your public library portal so I'm just going to go over step by step how you can you know read free newspapers and magazines from Toronto Public Library website so the first thing uh, you have to go to Toronto Public Library website and this is uh, torontopubliclibrary.ca uh, you don't have to actually memorize the URL you can just search on Google Toronto Public Library and it will take you to the main page which is right here and uh, the first thing that uh, you'd like you'd need a Toronto Public Library membership card or membership uh, access and password uh, otherwise you will not be able to use uh, this feature to read free newspapers and magazines so if you don't have any uh, public library card or membership yet uh, it is time to get that uh, you can visit your uh, branch uh, at your nearest location or you can just you know uh, apply online although I'm not I haven't done that but there should be some sort of uh, you know online system where you can apply uh, but you know the best thing would be just to visit in person and you'll be able to get a public library card right away so once you go to the po Toronto Public Library website I should take a look on the top here you're going to see that the uh, ebooks and online content and here you're going to see a few options for example the digital magazines and, and digital newspapers also you're able to uh, read ebooks via Toronto Public Library portal. Uh, today I'm not going to be talking about ebooks. I'm working on a separate video for that, uh, which will be published in the future. But let's uh, talk about digital magazines and newspaper. Now let's start with the magazine because the process are very similar. So we're going to click on here and here you can see that uh, you have more than one option to access magazines via port this portal and they're like you know third-party apps uh, you can use to uh, access your uh, magazines so for example here you can see that uh, there is the OneDrive magazines and this is actually an app which is the Libby app uh, and that's what we're going to be concentrating on and there's another program Flipstar and I'm not going to be looking at this one because I'll just stick to only main two uh, just keep everything simple and you know not to make this video too long and the other one very popular is going to be press reader and I'm going to be showing you these as well so let's start with uh, the OneDrive or Libby so here you can see that help getting started with OneDrive if you click here then you're going to come to this page and here it's kind of you know explaining you how you can access uh, magazines using OneDrive or Libby app and here that there is a you know handy PDF copy which is right here and here it mentions that you know what you have to do so basically you have to download the Libby app and then once you open the Libby app is going to ask you for your library location and you have to use your uh, Toronto Public Library number and our login ID and password to access this app and once you are there place where you're going to see the, all the magazines and uh, that's how you can you know uh, 
view or read free magazines. Now I'm just going to quickly take you to the Libby app. So once you install Libby app from Google Play or Apple Play Store and you have to just you know open the app then it's going to take you inside the app and here you can see that you know all the magazines which are available and if you'd like to do a search then you can easily do a search by clicking the search button and then it's going to take you to the section where you can see that you know there's the magazine and if you click on it then it's going to list you all the magazines and you can sort by clicking refine and then here you can see that you know there you can sort by format subject language audience or you know travel a men's lifestyle or anything you want and that way you can just like you know look at the magazines of specific genre you're looking for so it has a lot of uh, you know listings of magazines and you can just uh, look at them or you can read them and also you have the option to download them now I'm going to take you to the press reader so same here if you just you know go to digital magazines or even you can go to newspapers and then if you click on press reader this is take you this is going to bring you to this page and here you can see that the first thing you're gonna to have to do is to create an account but do not create an account without uh, any other links you have to click on here and if you click on here then it's going to take you to a link and you have to sign up accessing you know uh, by clicking here access online and you're going to be using your uh, Toronto Public Library card number or any library card number if your library has that feature or offers the service and then once you create an account then you can access press reader either from their website which looks like this or you can access press reader from the app on Google Play or Apple Play Store so once you are inside the press reader it's going to look like this and what happens you can here you know browse by section or category and you can browse by country language and there are many other options so press reader has a lot more magazines than Libby app and also it has newspapers and you're going to be able to find lots of newspapers uh, like you know all the major newspapers like Wall Street Journal the Globe and Mail uh, New York Times and many other newspapers across the globe these apps will give you access for one day 23 hours once you finish the access then you have to just like you know log back again using the Toronto Public Library link and then you can just have like you know access for again another almost two days and if you download the newspaper or the magazines then actually you can keep that those you don't have to return them because these are all digital so let me just go back to the press reader so for example if you just click sign in then here you have uh, it tells you to you know sign in for your library or groups and if you just uh, click here then you have the option to search by library and you can see that you know Toronto Public Library and then here you can just you know using uh, you can sign in using the library card number and your pin word uh, pin number for the library and this is how Libby app looks so the Libby app does looks like doesn't have any um, magazines to read online you have to go to the app but uh, the press reader has actually magazines online so you can uh, read either on the app or online so this is a very good feature all these are free and you can read as much as you want for example if you're signing up for press reader like in a paid version to have the same access as the one you're accessing via your public library i believe it's a per month 30 to 40 dollars so you are paying or you're saving a lot of money just by you know accessing via your library's portal and this is all free and you can read as much as you want so that's all i wanted to show you Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.